Hi, I'm Tess Schultz with Tulip Square, and today we have something a little different for you. We recently did a Facebook Live event with Ricardo over at the Fabric Hut in his Facebook group. In that event, Paulette showed everyone how to make these placemats. This is our rainbow weave placemat pattern number 615. We used our pattern and these gorgeous fabrics from the Fabric Hut. So you can get links to the pattern, links to the Facebook group, links to the fabric, all in the description box below. But first, check out the replay of the live stream. Okay, so we are live now. Um, there is still no one uh, here. Uh, we, we, also, we will also be able to see that uh, on the screen. Um, let's just wait for people to join. Yeah. Yep. Otherwise, we'll just be talking to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's okay, too. That's okay. <laughs> So how, how, how long have you have you been doing this? Well, so I can see your channel is from 2020. Well, uh, yes, but we've been doing the patterns. I've been doing them since 2006, and she's been doing them since 2020. And she, when she came along, she added all the modern stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's awesome. That's that's great. Okay, so um we have some so, someone watching us now so we are just um waiting for uh, for the top of the hour for the 4 4 p.m uh, to start um to start uh, start the live in the meantime if you want you can just leave a comment uh, letting us know where you are joining us from and it's always nice to see where people are watching us from. It is, yes. Where are you anyway, Ricardo? I'm in Portugal. Oh, oh. cool. We're in Florida. Oh, that's nice. Two no, sunny, sunny places. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's give it uh, a few more minutes before we start. People are starting to join now. Have you done a lot of these on your on your website on that uh, Facebook group? Not not many. Uh, so far, we did three or four. Well, it's kind of a neat idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, with uh, I, I love this 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 software um, uh, Streamyard. Uh, and it allows you to go live on multiple places at the same time. So um, we oh. could we could be on Facebook, YouTube, and and other platforms at the same time. But at least Facebook and YouTube, we could be live on on both at the same time. Oh, oh, nice. And do you get an actual recording of it too? Then we we do. So uh, not not as, I, I'm using the free the free version and with the free version uh, they don't they don't provide the recording but I will be able to download it from Facebook afterwards. Oh okay. So we have uh, we have people here from Florida, Arizona, New York. A couple more minutes to let people join in. Yep. Kansas. Greensboro. Fill up the eye. There is a way to because the 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 um, people's name don't show on the comments. Uh, I know there's a way of doing that. There's a link people will, will have to click, but I don't have it here with me, um, and that's a shame. It's always good to see people's people's names. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Do you want us to mention things like? This cutting board that so many people had an interest in. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there will be people asking about that. You know, <laughs> with 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 the promotional video that you did for us, 
uh, I, let, I, I get a lot of comments of, peop of, of, of people saying, I don't care about the blades. Just let me know where I can get that part. <laughs> <laughs> that was not... No, it wasn't. But if, the, if they go to tulipsquare.com and look on our blog for the tour of our sewing room, they will find the link to that cutting mat there. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and also a link to your titanium blades. So. <laughs> okay, thank you. I really appreciate that. Because they were part of the tour, too. They were. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I think we we are almost at the top of the hour. Here we have people from California, Delaware, Colorado. Okay, we can we can start now. So. Uh, Welcome, everyone, and thank you for being here. Uh, I really appreciate that. I never, I never uh, give that for granted. So I know that you are taking part of your day to be here with us uh, today, and um, I am very appreciative of that. So, and today I am actually very excited to have with us uh, uh, Paulette Morrison. Morrissey, I'm sorry. And she, she is amazing. She has this uh, amazing YouTube channel that she's running with her daughter and where she shares her work, uh, the, the patterns that she designs herself and how to make them. And you can see uh, on the screen, uh, on the bottom of the screen, um, scrolling um, the link to their website and to their YouTube channel. Uh, go there and make sure to follow them and, and hit that, that bell uh, to be notified when they publish something new because it's totally worth it. So that being said, uh, I am now uh, passing it to, to you, Paulette. I'll be on the background um, answering questions uh, that may come up. Hi, everyone. I'm Paulette Morrissey from Tulip Square. And manning the camera behind me is my daughter, Tess. So if she botches anything up, it's her fault, not mine. Oh, oh my fault. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to make, this is the pattern. It's called Rainbow Weave, and it's placemats. It's pattern number 615, and you can get that on our website at tulipsquare.com. Here's one example of it. It looks pretty in all different colors. And today we're going to use two of Fabric Hut's collections, and this one is called the browns the brown collection the brown collection and this one is called victorian flowers i think yes we think it's called victorian flowers. i left my notes in the other room <laughs> and, and ricardo <laughs> will tell us that that's wrong but we think it's victorian flowers but um that's the ones we're going to use to make this set of placemats so let's let's get started right away we're going to swing over here to the sewing machine and what you need to start on this is you're going to pick six colors from the collections, and there are eight colors in each collection. Mm -hmm. um, and you will need the other ones for the backgrounds, the backings, and everything. Pick six of the colors that you like of each set. So I picked these six from the, the blue set and these six from the brown set. And what you're going to do is sew those together into squares. So we're going to get busy right now and sew them into squares. And what I like to do when I'm sewing things like strips together, I like to just do them in pairs. And make sure you do a nice even quarter inch seam so that everything fits together. And you know when you're doing more than one thing, you can chain your sewing, of course. Everybody chains their sewing, right? <laughs> And when you're sewing these together, make sure all of your strips are the same order in all of your blocks because you're going to make eight blocks of each color. want 
I'm not going to try talking during the loud sewing machine. <laughs> Normally, when we do these videos, we're not live, so we speed up the sewing part. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can't do that here. No, we can't zip through this at 20 times the speed. <laughs> <laughs> but she does have a lot of things pre-sewn, so you don't have to watch her sew all of those. You don't have to watch her sew everything. Get that out of the way. And I'm just going to press these quickly. Make sure I press them all the right way. One. This color. I'm pressing them all so they end up all pressed in the right order. It's easier when you cut them. So that's those three will get sewn together, and these three will get sewn together. And remember, all all eight brown squares will be in the same order, and all eight of the turquoise or blue work. Victoria flowers. Victoria flowers. <laughs> okay. okay so how wide and how long are the strips? These are one and a half by six and a half, and that's in the pattern. But these are one and a half by six and a half. And you've got you cut eight each of every color, six colors of the browns and six colors of the Victorian flowers. Now I'm just going to sew these together, this one, with this one. She's sewing at super speed just for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like to sew at super speed. First one. Do my thread ends, and I'm going to sew the third strip over here. Did this all right? They should look the same as all the other boxes I made. I think you did. I think I did. <laughs> okay. If she screwed that up, that part's not my fault. No, <laughs> that was on me. <laughs> okay, and then you iron these, and you've already got two of them ironed in the right direction. So you know these go this way. And yes, that one is the right way. Okay. Not that we ever doubted that. No, we never doubted that. We never it. doubted that. Is it inch and a one and a half inches finished? No. No, you cut them you cut at one, one and a one half. half. And they're finished at one inch. There. Now I've got the ones over here that was already laying here. Okay, so now you've got eight of these, eight of the bronze. If I made them all correctly. Okay, so you're going to take four of the browns and four of the Victorian blues. Four. And I should have four left of each. Yes, I do. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut four of each color in half diagonally. And okay. make sure... I'm going to come right in here. Okay. And make sure you cut them 
all the same way. Make sure if you're cutting one this way, you cut them all this way. Don't cut them this way. Just pick one direction, whichever you prefer, and you cut them all that same direction. So I'm going to take this and set it to 45 degrees. And I'm going to reach cutting tool with one of my nice titanium blades on it. Mm -hmm. That we've been having the same blade in here for a heck of a lot of cutting lately. There's one pair. Remember to make these all the same direction or you are going to have a heck of a mess. <laughs> or an interesting placemat. I don't know. Uh, did I do that wrong? Did I just cut one wrong? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I just cut one wrong. Okay, ignore that. <laughs> just put that off to the side. Don't cut them that way. <laughs> okay, I'm just showing you how not to cut them. See? See, this is why you have to make sure you cut them this all is why you the don't same way. You cut like this one, I cut this way. Good one. This one, I cut this way. Bad person. <laughs> See, it's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, so we're just going to set that over here. And we're going to cut another one this way. This way. This way. Luckily, we have more of the fabric. Also, I wanted to mention that with these two bundles, you can make all four patterns, all four placemats, including the binding and the backing. So the only extra thing I had to add um, was... Well, um, white, white for the, the sashing. And I just used a, a little white dotted Swiss. So we're going to try and cut these all the same way. So just cut two so then you can make the other two. The Good, other idea. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. That's why we keep Tess around. That and she does all the tough stuff. <laughs> okay, so you're going to cut four of them like that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take the other four. Um... Wait a minute, before I cut those, I'm going to cut two of those. Close your blade. No. <laughs> <laughs> For safety purposes, For you safety. should close your blade when you're flailing around. <laughs> yes, always close your blade. Cut two of these the same way. Remember, you would cut four, but I'm only cutting two right now, so you don't have to watch me botch up half of the squares. <laughs> and those two. Then, closing blade. Thank you. I'm going to cut two of them like this, and these should be six and a half inches square right now, which they are. So I'm going to cut them at three and a quarter. Probably not cut those. Probably go. So you cut half of them diagonally and then half of them straight. Yes. And these, it doesn't matter which way you cut them, they'll end up the same way. But this is six and a half inches right now because you've got your extra seam allowances in the middle yet. Once they're sewn, this would be a six by six inch square if you didn't cut them off. So there we've got four of those. And then we're going to take two of these. nice and accurate. This one's a little shy of two and a half, so I'm just going to even out the difference a little bit. There you go. Oops, oops. Okay, now we have, we do have eight of these, but I'm only cutting half, so we'd have eight of, eight of all of these. We've got all of these. 
So we're going to start with all these triangle pieces and we're going to go over to the sewing machine. Now remember, you've got two different kinds of brown triangles. They're not the same as we know by cutting them the wrong way. And you've got two different looking uh, blue triangles. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the ones that goes like this. The stripes are going this way. And you're going to match it with one of these that goes this way. And then you're going to take the other pair like that and go like this, like so. Now you've got, you can, I'm going to sew these two together and then I'm going to show you something. Oh, wait. What? Oh, this one goes there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one of each there, one of each there. So. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to show you something here. It's all in the pattern, though, so you can... Yes. Follow along. <laughs> okay. So the next pair is together the same way, so I can show you two different options. So I want to make sure I do the same ones. This one and boost. <laughs> it doesn't go like that. No. It goes like that. Yes. Okay, one. No, it doesn't go like that either. It goes like. Yes, it does. It does. Yeah. That goes. Like, yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we can't blurb any of these out. This will make a good blooper video. Yeah. Well, everyone's seeing it live, so. <laughs> now, without Tessa's help, I can line up these last two. <laughs> <laughs> and you can all enjoy the bloopers in real time. Yeah. There'll be more to come. Be patient. <laughs> these open. If you want to know about any of the things we're using, this cutting system or her iron or the blades or anything, we we did a tour of our sewing room on YouTube and also on our blog. So check out tulipsquare.com and it's got links to almost everything we use in the room. So you can find everything there. But you don't get to have Tess standing over your shoulder correcting your sewing. No, no, She's it doesn't come with. <laughs> Whether she likes it or not. <laughs> Okay, so now you've got your four pieces like this. You've got two like this and two like this. In theory, that should... No, those aren't even the same, are they? No, they haven't. Okay, these are the ones. These, yeah. Okay, two like this and two like this. Now you can put these two together like so. And these two together like so. Or you can mix them so each one has all four different colors on it. Yes. This, this is the way the pattern this is, is the way the pattern calls and, but some people like to make two of the placemats like this and two of the placemats like this yep. i personally either way to mix them all up like so so i'm just gonna sew this 
and sew this. And remember, when you're sewing on a diagonal like this, you got a lot of stretch here, and you got a lot of stretch here. So don't pull on your your fabric. Just guide it through nice and neatly, evenly. Don't don't force it. You don't want a distorted square. No. I gotta put some different glasses on. That's what that's what my problem is. I don't have my sewing glasses on. Sewing glasses. Yeah. Sewing glasses. We'll blame it on that. Yes. There, there we go. you go. Ah, Look at miracle. that. Much better. Now I know which two I'm sewing together. <laughs> So that seam, make sure your middle seams line up there. Oh yeah, forgot to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers, the viewers can do that. The viewers can do that. Do as I do, <laughs> do as she says, not as I do. Now we're going to iron this. Hopefully, my seams will show up. We've got a nice little square right now that Set is that over here so they can see. I want to see how big it is. Right now it is about eight and a half inches square, a little bit less than eight and a half. It'll be about eight when it's done. Press this one. And I'm not sewing this as neatly as I would sew it if I wasn't doing it quickly. These are really cute fabrics, I have to say. Yeah, they really are. It's really cute together. I like them together. We saw that there was just this little bit of this color in here, yeah. which is why we picked this collection and to go with this collection. And a little bit of these dots and a little bit in here. Yep. So we thought the turquoise would go really cute with them, and they did turn out really cute. Now we're going to sew some of these white, white satin <laughs> pieces. White satin pieces. <laughs> On, on each side of them. Now you have to decide if you want them all to be on the turquoise side or do you want them all like this or do you want them random? I'm going to put them all on the on the brown edges. So I'm going to put them all like this. We're going to back over to the sewing machine. Make sure I got my dotted Swiss the right dotted way. And you will notice that since we're doing this in real time, that this is a really quick pattern. If you needed to whip up some placemats in a hurry, you could make these in an afternoon easily. You can do something like stitch in the ditch or how we like to just follow the, the, the stitching of a design. I'm just going to stick to the brown edges here. Make sure that's right to the edge there. Name of the 
pattern. The name of the pattern is Rainbow Weave, pattern number 615. So if you go to our website at tulipsquare.com, there's a search. You can just put 615 right in there and it'll pop right up. Or you can browse all of our placemat patterns if you like. Also, be sure to check out our YouTube channel because we're putting up a new video every single Saturday. And half of them are tutorials that go with our patterns. This is true. And the other half of them are just free things, techniques and fun projects. And hey, can I show them what this Saturday is going to sure. be? So this Saturday, we're starting a three-part series on our YouTube channel to show you how to make these cute little pincushion ladies. Isn't that cute? This one's mine. She said, someone said I have been browsing and you have awesome ones. Well, thank you. Pincushion started out to be kind of a not meant to be a project. They started out, I made them for all my daughters and my sisters for Christmas presents. This one's mine. And everybody who saw <laughs> them wanted them. And since I'm not going to make them for everybody, I'll make them and sell them, I thought I would just put together a tutorial. Yep. That will be a three part tutorial. The first part will be this Saturday, and it will follow over the next two Saturdays, and then you will have yourself a finished little condition. Lady. Yes. And if you look at our Facebook page right now, I just posted a link to the supply list for that, if you wanted to Okay, now you've got this part on your, your pieces. So then you're going to take the longer sashing pieces of the polka dot stuff, dotted Swiss. And I have to make sure I got the right size because it's so hard to see the right side. And I'm just going to sew them onto the long sides of each one. Mm -hmm. See how quick these are going? Those are cute little ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Those are fun to make. And you even learn how to make the little clay heads in the first video. Yep. Which are very easy. I've made literally thousands of them. Yeah, Paula used to make dolls. Many, many, many dolls. I thought I was done making dolls. You were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We always knew she'd go back to some sort of doll. She always does. These are more fun. They don't have to have clothes that need little tiny snaps. Oh, little tiny snaps. I hate the little tiny snaps. I dreams about making little tiny snaps. <laughs> <laughs> Those are called nightmares. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> all those little dolls I made were mostly six inch dolls. Yep. With movable joints. Oh, there's some up there. You can get them down in a second. <laughs> no, I'm not selling any of those. <laughs> <laughs> but they are the reason I thought it would be a cute way to make a head for a pin cushion. Yes. Because I had made so many of the dolls. Huh. I'd show you, but I don't know if my cord can reach that far. Do you want to see? Up there. Oh, one of my little people. Yeah. Here, hand it to me so I can show them while you're sewing the last two seams. Only you have to find out that that's when I got lazy and made felt clothes. The first couple. Oh, of it is. The first couple thousand did not have felt clothes. They're cute, clothes. and they're jointed. Their little shoes are clay. Their little hair is clay. And their whole face is clay, no painting. Yep. Same with these ones. There's no painting on those. That's all just colored clay. And a little bit of blush. Yes, back to the project. Here I am sewing. 
<laughs> I'm just entertaining the viewers while I finish up the session. Already? <laughs> entertaining the viewers. Oops, I got one more to go. I know you do. Well, look at that. Here I cut them off for no reason. Oh, my God. So far, I think I got all the dotted Swiss in the right direction, at least. Well, that's good. Especially in certain light, it's so hard to tell. Yeah. Zoom it along. I'm not going as fast as I could be. <laughs> I'm going to keep the noise down a little bit. Colors are gorgeous. They are. Yes. I agree. I really like them. We're going to press these. I'm going to give you another look at the fabrics. And there were more colors in the in Love the, the collections. Fabric. But there I was a some couple more colors. Oh, yeah. Because so, cut, like, cut the binding and everything. Yeah, like this color here. Yeah. Not in that oh, pile. still there, yeah. Okay. This one's our favorite. <laughs> yes, it is. I really like that one a lot. And I love how it looks with that little dotted that checkered this one. gingham? Yeah. yeah. That's, a nice, that's a nice one, too. They're all nice. Very nice. Very nice collection. Cool. Yes. We thought it was pretty on the, in the pictures, but when we got it in person, it was even prettier. Yeah, it's very nice fabric. And when I was ironing it and everything, it's like, wow, this is a really nice fabric. Yep. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take these little pieces. Let me go over here and find some little pieces. And we're going to sew them together. Now, here's the thing. You got some options here. Let me lay one of these out. I think the pattern calls for going here and here with a pair. And here and here. Yep. Now you can do that or you can do this mm -hmm. or you can put all the turquoise on two of them and all of the brown on two of them. That's what we did with that set over there. Yes. This one has all the blues and another one, the other two have all of the, the reds. So that's kind of a choice thing. Mm -hmm. hmm. What kind of machine are you sewing on? Uh, that is a, a Viking sapphire. Husqvarna Viking sapphire. Yeah. 930? 970? It 920? says on the front. Husqvarna. There you go. 930. A sapphire 930. It's fabulous. It is. It's and sitting behind it is my genome that we don't have room for right now. Yep. Or genome, I don't know how you say that. Yeah. So, which way should we put these? The pattern says to put them one color on this side and one color on this Beautiful side. Beautiful fabrics. They so sure are. They way. sure are. I'll do that. They're very nice. We want them this way. So, I'm going to sew these together. And these together, and in theory, sew them all wrapped together correctly. <laughs> this one and this one. <laughs> the chances of this getting all sewn together correctly are <laughs> slim to none. So, whatever way they are, they're going to be browns and turquoises. So. It's an adventure. It is. I'm going to sew this to this. Yes, I am. I'll make them at least the same, even if they're not the same. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is this one and this one. As long as you don't sew the two dots together, you'll be fine. Right. And then I'm going to sew. That's Brown that. all around. Yeah, oh, too late. What? <laughs> browns all around. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like the I like kind of. I kind of like the browns all around too. Well, it's not too late to change your mind either, because you're only doing two. Oh, that's right. This one and this one. There you go. <laughs> I almost gave you a game show buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
you gave me games from others for everything I goofed up. You're going to be really busy all day. <laughs> You're going to have to follow me around all day. Aren't you going to measure the dimensions? Well, we measured them at the start. You meant, you don't have to measure anything right now. As long as they all fit together, they're a placement. <laughs> 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 Those are the same strips as we used to make right. these squares. So this should be. Well, so we made those squares. We got twelve one-inch strips right there. So right now that should be about twelve and a half inches long. Mm -hmm. So let's see how close we are to twelve and a half inches. There we are. Ding ding twelve ding. And, a half inches, and it's still three and a quarter inches wide. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And the block right now is 12 and a half inches, but once you, you know, sew up your side seams. We started with those. We cut some in half this way and cut some in half that way. We make both chunks out of the same blocks. Which I think is a pretty clever thing, actually, in it this is. pattern. And you end up with four the same, or you can make like we did here, we can make two opposite. Mm -hmm. I think I like that better. The opposites? Mm -hmm. Good job, someone said. <laughs> Thank you. They're laughing too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here we go. Also, one other thing you have to make sure you've done oh, is yeah. either have these long strips top and bottom on all of your pieces or side by side on all of your pieces. It doesn't matter which because the things fit together either way, but just for consistency. It really thing. depends which way you want the colors to be. This is true. So, which way do we want the colors? Now, if we were going to do turquoise to turquoise, here's something else we could do. We could do one placemat like that, and we could really get goofy and do one placemat like that. Mm -hmm. So, this one has the browns up and down. And the browns on the side, and this has the turquoise up and down, and the turquoise on the side. Or you could put the turquoise next to the turquoise, and the brown next to the brown. You could. Someone wants to know: Will this be on YouTube for later? Also, um, if we can do that, we will. Yes. If we're if we're allowed to do that, yes. Yes. Okay. Which way should I put these? Hmm. I kind of like it like I like this. It, yes, I liked it that way too. Where the where ladies are color? so much fun to watch. I love your bloopers. They make me feel better when I quilt. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are full of them. Oh my so. god, every day you think we just started sewing yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to come this way. What do you think? We're going to sew them this way. Browns, browns, turquoises, turquoises. So then, if you do this with your whole set, you're going to end up with two place mats like this and two place mats like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go so and um, oh yeah. Do you want them the same or different? Mm. Yet another question. I would like them different, but the other way. So I didn't turn that one. Over. <laughs> <laughs> like so? Yeah. So then, see, so you have dot dot dot, and we have dot 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 or something. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do. I like it that way. All right. Good. We have a. We have a vote for this way. Okay, so we're going to go sew these seams. Okay. No seams to line up or anything aside from the side seam. We don't have any parts to line up, except this should line up with that probably. Perfect. This this seam here should line up with this seam. Does it? Oh, okay. It does beautifully. Oh, very good. <laughs> Would you expect anything like that? I don't remember what size those things are, so if it was supposed to or not. <laughs> I mean, my gosh, of course it does. You don't have to cut that. I'm not. Okay. Not cutting it. <laughs> this what? one is going here. No, I want the yellow, the flowered one on that side. So this one oh, yes. That's a good call. 
the heck is that? No, I don't want that on it. I messed up something on that square there, so that's going to go on the bottom. What did you do? I don't know. It looks like I cut it too short or something. Oh, you want a blooper? There's one right there. <laughs> <laughs> Bloopers are up. <laughs> <laughs> but I want it someplace where I don't have to look at it. <laughs> Do you want to cut one of these in half and make another strip? Oh, good grief and all. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, it's just a question. No, mm -hmm. I can just show you how you hide a boo-boo. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. What if it was <laughs> out of fabric? I couldn't do that. That's true. And I'm curious to see how I'll fix it. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> so just going to make that strip a little narrower. Be quiet. Oh, who else's machine tells you that you're out of thread and then three days later you actually <laughs> run out? <laughs> going to fix that I'm there. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make a very not quarter inch seam there. Up there by that one. It's going to be like an eighth of an inch seam, okay? Like this. So it's caught in there. Get a look at that seam you just made. Now, see up there where it's not quite a quarter of an inch. It's just a little bit shorter. So everybody else is a hefty quarter. But it's fine. It's yeah. fine. It's not going to do anything. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be pressed open. It's going to be quilted. It's going to be just as happy as the rest of the... Can you please set. explain how you have your thread set up? Oh, I just use a big thing back here because I use a lot of thread. So I have a big cone back there. Yep. And then... I just have it running. And it's on there. the holder there. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see because of the fabric behind it, but that's okay. You can see it there. And it wasn't tall enough, so she put it on top of a cigar box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I need this open because of where I thread my machine through that. If if my machine was threaded down here, I guess this could be closed when I'm sewing. Yeah, I sew with mine closed. But then I get to look at all this stuff all the time. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It works very well. Now we're going to press these. Actually, I probably should have pressed that in the other one, but I'll fix that later. And then we have this one. Bulger, this is my first time watching from Minnesota. Hi, Kim. Welcome. <laughs> well, We're actually from Wisconsin. So. My stepdaughter still lives in Minnesota. That's true. Is it cold up there? Yes. Yes. We are very familiar with your weather. <laughs> and there we have it. There you go. One placemat, two placemats. Here, I'll hold it up and then show mm -hmm. that one so you can show how you did the quilting too. Oh yeah. Now this one I just did quilting along some of the seams. Just next to the seams, like in here, 
and back out here every other every other stripe and then down here we just did crisscrosses yep. just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and I used this color for the binding the same as the background now on these I could use the dotted Swiss for the binding but I'm thinking since these fabrics are kind of fun I cut out all different bindings I cut out a couple of strips of the brown for one place mat I cut out the polka dot for one place mat I cut out the big polka dot for one place mat, and I cut out the checks for one place mat. Now, because these were bundles and the, none of the fabric is very long, I'm going to need to sew together four strips for each one or three strips for each one. Um, but that's okay. It's worth it to have such cute yeah, binding. Yeah, I just thought it would be kind of cute to make all different bindings on them. But they would also look equally cute with the um, dotted Swiss bindings. And these are the fat fifths. Yes, bundles. Yes. So for a yard of fabric, you get five different colors to play with. Yes. Of four, which is great. Yes. And there's eight colors in each one of those bundles. Plus, all of these pieces left here, aside from these bottom two and these bottom two, which I will probably use for the backing, mm -hmm. all of that extra stuff is left over. From it's those left bundles. over after you make four placemats. Well, so you still have that much left. Yep. Unfortunately, I'll have to make one more block to make up for this one. I think I just saw a comment, but it disappeared. Oh, there we go. Uh, new to sewing, made mug mats until perfection, and I'm moving on to new adventures. Oh, then placemats is a perfect next step. Yeah, mug, mug rugs are a great place to start. They are. And placemats are a nice place to go next because they're small enough to still get them all into the sewing machine in one little project, and even when you're quilting and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I think we're done here. I hope you all enjoyed this. Go check out our patterns and our videos and all our other good stuff on Tulip Square. And check out the fabrics at the Fabric Hut. Yes, and don't forget to try his titanium blades. We are using these same blades for like a month. Yeah. And they're still cutting through layers and layers and all these seams and stuff when we're cutting. They're doing great. Yep. So everybody, have a good day. Thanks for watching us. See you soon. Bye-bye. And Ricardo's back on now. Hi, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs>、okay. I was talking, but I was muted, so no one was <laughs> hearing anything. So I was、uh, thanking you for being here. It was super fun.、Uh, I really, I really enjoyed it, and I think that the viewers also enjoyed it. And、um, I'll share, I'll share the links to the pattern and to the fabric on on the live on Facebook. It it, it is being recorded, so you can、uh, rewatch it or 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 watch it from the beginning if you didn't watch the beginning. And make sure to check、um, Tulip Square website and YouTube channel.、Uh, they have amazing videos there. I highly recommend it. So thank you. Bye. Bye bye. So I hope you enjoyed that. We certainly had a good time putting it together, and we're actually planning to do another one. So we'll be doing another live event with Ricardo in his Facebook group. So check the description box below, and you will find links so you can join the Facebook group. And then next time we do one of these, you can be in the chat, and we'll answer your questions just like you saw today. So if you like that, hit that little like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And there's links to the fabric, to the pattern, everything you need down in the description box. So check that out, and we will see you next time. Happy sewing!